Hello everyone, this is Nigon here from the FX Forums, along with my assistant, Jedi Footman, and we are here for the progress reveal of Igniter. And as you saw the teaser, I now have a working PCB of Igniter that does pretty much everything I wanted to do, so we're getting down to the final stages of testing. Without further ado, here is one of the three boards I have of Igniter currently on the bench. Uh, this shows basically the basic wiring for the minimal version. You've got your two switches here, which I just tap. I didn't bother to hook those up. Um, you have your LED, and then you can hook up a second die here with uh, for your, what I like to call the multi-die flash, or more commonly known as flash on clash. Um, and this I've actually ran two wires since I was currently testing with two LEDs. You could actually only need three because you only need one power supply. In it. And, of course, you need a speaker and a battery holder for battery connection. Um, so one thing that I wanted to note, I have this other version here. I don't know how well you can see it. This camera is kind of crap. But you can see that this is the back side of the board. And it's, all the connections are labeled. Um, every solder tab here is a breakout solder tab. And I, I don't know if you can see, see that there's a front and a back side. So you can solder it to either side, um, which means you can do through-hole soldering. And to boot, you could do through-hole soldering, uh, pointing the wire either way, or you could do service mount soldering if you prefer. So uh, this makes the soldering uh, a bit easier than having tabs somewhere in the middle of the board. They're all along the edges here. So this is pretty much my current test. Uh, this was my kind of test setup on the bench just to check out my basic functionality. And then what you saw, of course, in the video was the Hiltec instructor. So let me zoom out a bit. And this is the hilt that I built. Let me stick it here. Now I can point. Um, so, first of all, I want to give mad props to Mad Cow. I kind of borrowed his idea from the Koran Han build to uh, basically make a way so the speaker board kind of snaps in. I wanted, uh, because I needed to update builds on this, I was still testing the code. I actually made more code changes than I wanted at this point, but that's a different story. Um, but I wanted a way that I could get the board in and out quickly and then be able to test it. So I didn't, I didn't want something that slid out of the hilt because with that, I could, then when I turned it on, I'd have to re it up before I turned it back on. So this way I could basically plug the board in, upload the new code, and then just grab the hilt and kind of do some basic testing before I committed, okay, yes, that's fine, and then, it, uh, then put the cover back on. Um, this is what I mean by the cover is not on, uh, and this is how I actually ran this lightsaber in that last teaser, which is why it looked kind of weird, because this is really skinny. This is just a, uh, this is a thick-walled PVC, which has an outer diameter of something over an inch, I guess, and you can see this is the MHS piece, so see it drops down to it. Uh, but this, I was pretty happy with this. Uh, see, I could, this just clips right out, which is cool, and then I could program it, and then I can clip it back in. Uh, clip it this way. There we go. Um, oh, and, and before I go on to, I did want to mention, uh, I mentioned it on the board, but to prove to you everyone that I'm not lying, yes, this size is fairly small. See, we've got exactly two and a half here, and here it's like 0.93. It's a little less than one inch. I hope, I hope this can, shows up on the camera. So, see, it's about 1.5. I think that shows up. So it's plenty small, it's a little longer than I wanted, but I wanted to keep, uh, as you can see from this one, you know, I kept all the, uh, there's nothing on the bottom besides a few of those small resistors, so it's basically the highest thing here is that clash sensor, um, and I think other boards have components that are taller than that, like inductors or anything. This is, I tried to keep this really uh, small. So it fits pretty well, I think. But this is my hilt, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to do some, uh, oh yeah, one last thing before I do that. I, just, I do have a cover for this now, finally. So this cover, which is basically just sync tube, uh, this will slide over this hilt, you know, like so, and go through. And then the, uh, the little LEDs and the little buttons will stick through. And again, I, it's, I like this design because 
This way this will run without anything being needing to be connected or anything to get this on. This just slides right over there. Okay, so uh, without further ado now, I think I'm going to stop the camera and use some magic and uh, basically get the hilt put together and then I can kind of run through uh, the final feature set and show you what Igniter can really do.